Hi everybody, Hayden from Some Stones, and today I'm going to show you how to download games onto an R4 card, Mac users only though. Sorry, I don't have a Windows computer. I mean, I have one, but like I don't know how to do this. Too hard, it, but it's extremely easy on the Mac computer. So anyway, what you'll need for this is, let me see wherever that is, oh it's in the DS. Okay, so. An R4 card with the micro SD, but I don't know why you wouldn't have the micro SD because it's completely useless. And an adapter that you can like put the micro SD in, or you could get like an SD card, or if you have a micro SD slot, then you could probably put it in there. But I recommend you just get one of these because I haven't tried it with an SD adapter. I mean, I have one, but I haven't tried it. I've been using this thing. So anyway, what you're going to do is take out the micro SD. Don't ever lose that thing. And hold on. Mine has two slots, so I'm gonna put it. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna need to put it in here somehow. It's hard to record. I'm gonna do this. Up wrong way. Okay, just like skip this part. Hold on. Hey, look at the ah, look at the fishies here. I'll put it in. Okay, got it. Okay, so here I got it. Sorry it took so long. Please don't hate me. Okay, so we're gonna put it. Whichever way it goes, put it in the USB slot. So anyway, you'll see something will pop up. It'll say, it should say untitled. That's what mine says. I have no idea. I'm not like an expert with this or anything. So anyway, go to your web browser. In this case, I'm using um like Safari, Google, whatever, and go here. I'll try and put a link in the description, but go to loveroms.com. Here it is right here. Look exactly that up. And here. I'll... Okay. I should have had enough time to look it up. So anyway, here you, you come here and you go over to ROMs and go to... Let me see, is it, the, oh, here, you might have to do view all, but it says Nintendo DS. You're doing Nintendo DS, and this is like, what I'm doing is only for DS, I don't even think this website has many 3DS titles, or maybe not even, maybe not even any, okay, what's this, go away, okay, so, Nintendo DS, let it load, then, let's see, so, Anyway, you know, I'll, I'll, I already have the game downloaded, so, you know, I'll just do, like, Pokemon Diamond, whatever, I think that that's what I have on here, but, uh, so just go here and click on download now, and it'll download, so anyway, there, you can close that, and anyway, it'll be... It won't be that DS card, you know, here I can get rid of this DS card for right now. Okay, so anyway, it'll look like this. It'll just, doesn't matter what it looks like, it'll just, it'll just look like this, okay. Oh no, it has to look like this. Okay, so anyway. You need this app called Extractor, which is, um... what my mouse is on it looks exactly like that it's just like a folder like i think it's like a manila folder with like a green zipper is that what they call those a green manila folder with a zipper on it anyway download that app from the app store click on it you'll see see here it says select an archive to so go over to your game Put it in here and do extract files. 
So anyway, here it is. Close. So anyway, here you have your game. Now I'm not gonna do this because I already have it downloaded, but drag it in here. And then, okay, so there, drag it in there. And then you're done. Take this out. Take your micro SD out. Well, of course, lay it download. I mean, give it the time to download. Put it into your R4 card. Put it in, I'll put it into my sadly pink DS Lite. Which only cost me twenty dollars, maybe even more if I replace the shell so the hinge isn't broken. And then, oh whatever that says down there, that Game Boy Advance. Well, nobody should care about my Game Boy Advance. So anyway, you know it'll most likely download a bunch of this. Just ignore those. They don't matter at all. And then here is Pokemon Diamond. And I like, I used, I downloaded all these games. And now anyway, just to show you that they'll work. Here, I'll just do, um, which one should I do? I'll do the Sonic game. So I'm going to do the Sonic game. I mean, I used this, but I'll just do the Sonic game anyways. It, it's the same thing. So see, I highly recommend you get an R4 card, because it's probably cheaper than buying all the games that you'll put on it. I have no idea what they cost. So yeah, there it is. So anyway, I hope that this works for you. And uh, that's only for Max. You can probably find another video on how I do this for... Um, Windows. Anyway, um, you know, have have a nice day. I hope this works for you. It's yeah, maybe it's if your kids really want a bunch of DS games for their birthday, get them an R4 card and just do this. I mean, it's it's not even that hard. I will warn you, not not every game is on there. Like I looked for Pokemon Black and White, and they weren't on there. So, I'm just gonna have to buy the cartridge, I guess. But, you know, so. Yeah, that's. I get that. So, yeah, that's. It. Hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.